very good. That was Walter Matta who just made the bed. Are we still running there? Yeah. Hello, my name is Gabriella Duarte and I did my project on Billy Wilder. Billy Wilder is a director and a screenwriter, but he likes to be known as a screen, uh, sorry, as a director more than a screenwriter because he believes that screenwriting is the more tedious work while directing is the fun work. Especially, he says, when you have very talented um, actors, which he worked with a lot of talented actors in his life, such as Marilyn Monroe in her most notable and famous film. He worked with people like uh, Humphrey Bogart, um, Audrey Hepburn, James Stewart, and more people like that. The reason that I chose him for my presentation is because I uh, really enjoy his film, Sunset Boulevard, which I will go more into depth in the rest of the presentation. And that's all for now. Thank you very much. Billy Wilder actually began his career in Germany as a crime reporter. Uh, this influenced him to want to begin to write films, and he broke into the German film industry. He eventually had to move away from Germany due to the Nazi rise, and um, he came all the way to Hollywood, staying in a hostel with the famed Peter Lohr. He was later granted a contract with Paramount Pictures as a writer, and he launched his Hollywood career that way. His career spanned from his first film in 1932 until his very last film in 1981, having a very long career and very successful career as well. Billy Wilder is most notably known for his comedies. However, he is very into touching onto deep topics and dark topics, as well as taboo topics for the time uh, in which he was releasing movies. For example, in the film Some Like It Hot, it's a comedy. However, it was the very first film to ever show drag in a major motion picture. Havana, Jacksonville, and Miami, all aboard, all aboard. His personal style is marked by his use of black and white film, even in a time where um, color film was available. He believed that this was very crucial to his film noir aesthetic and um, another piece of his film noir aesthetic that was very important to his films was the use of a femme fatale, which was a woman who would ultimately dis uh, lead the main character to destruction, whether it be emotional, financial, or just plain killing them in the end, which is the example in Sunset Boulevard and um, Double Indemnity. My favorite film by Billy Wilder is Sunset Boulevard. It follows um, actress Gloria Swanson who plays a woman who used to be a very famous actress during the golden age of Hollywood. She's lost all her fame but she still in her head believes that people love her the way that they used to and she finds a young reporter who she becomes infatuated with and ends up murdering. I like this film because it's really sarcastic, it has a lot of dark humor, but it deals with a lot of uh, dark topics, such as murder and greed. I love the use of old Hollywood glamour in it. Um, as I mentioned, Gloria Swanson is in it, as well as actor Buster Keaton, which was also part of the golden age of Hollywood. Um, I really like the aesthetic of it as a whole. It's very extra, it's very extravagant. And again, it's my favorite film by Billy Wilder. And another thing I like to do with this film is to compare the way that Hollywood used to look then versus how it looks now. I personally find that very interesting. In conclusion, Billy Wilder is one of my favorite filmmakers because of his style and his ability to not conform to the things that other filmmakers were doing at the time, which gives his films a very different feel. Um, I strongly recommend that you watch his films such as Sunset Boulevard, or if you're in a funnier mood, you can watch something such as Some Like It Hot. Thank you. I'm, I don't care. Well, I have a terrible past. For three years now, I've been living with a saxophone player. I forgive you. 
I can never have children. We can adopt some. You don't understand, Osgood. Uh, I'm a man. Well, nobody's perfect. <laughs>